Hey everybody, it's Margie from Bumbles and Fairy Tales, and I'm here with another um, update and quick book haul. Um, I actually um, don't have that much to show or talk about for that much. Um, real quick, there is a giveaway for the Spindlers going on. I believe it ends in the week. The link is in the side, one of the sidebars. So be sure to um, check that out and enter to win. Um, I got received an awesome package this week from let's see, Random Buzzers. I got picked to be an ambassador. Official ambassador. And I got this cool, the first ever time that I ever got like this cool package. It's got some pens to give out, some postcards to share, how to create your own book club, which I've been wanting to do for like ever. So that should come in handy. And I am on team Mystic City, and I actually got two books. And this is due to be released, I believe, in the end of October. Uh, end of October. So I'll obviously be reading it and reviewing it and giving a copy away. Yes, yes, yes. And this cover is absolutely gorgeous. It's got like that pearlish kind of shiny, sparkly to it. And for an ARC, it's very impressive. And this sounds amazing. So be sure to look up Mystic City by Theo Lawrence, and that to good reads, and look for this giveaway within the next like two or three weeks. And I also received from Spencer Hill Press, Touch of Death by Kelly Hashby. Isn't that cover pretty? She's so pretty, and I love whatever that is. I don't know if it's part of a shirt or a scarf, or it's just gorgeous. And received some swag from them too. It's for a Finn Finnegan tattoo and Amroth by Angela Townsend bookmark. I don't know if that's pods or PODs but Michelle Pickett. I'm definitely going to have to look this one up. And Perfection by J.L. Spilding. I love that Look at the eye, it's got like a butterfly in there. So this sounds amazing. It doesn't come out for a while. I believe it's in January that it's released, but I'll be reading it soon because it's just too good to um, put on the shelf for that long. <laughs> so look for that probably for you, probably in December. And then from Epic Reads, which is Harper Teen, I won a book via Twitter, and it got a little mangled by the UPS guy. He likes to throw my packages at my door sometimes. And that's Valkyrie Rising by Ingrid Paulson. And you can see it's all bent up, but I'm trying to nurse it back to health. And this sounds absolutely amazing too, and I'm definitely going to have to make time and try to read this before the end of the month too. Um, and last but not least, I had to pick up a finished copy of The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, and the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. Even the inside, it's got like, it's just, I love when they add all this special stuff inside there. It's so, so pretty. I can't wait. I haven't read it yet. I gave away my ARC. Because I just wanted to get this. Um, real quick, I do have a new thing on my blog. There's a one of those page things right on top. Um, I have a section where every 18th, not the 15th, it's not mid-month, but the 18th. I just picked a random number and it just happened to be the 18th of the month, every month. I'll be um, adding all the ARCs and whatever paperbacks, hardbacks. I, and I have to add I and my sister don't want because she gets first dibs on everything. So any um, advanced reader copies and any other books that I just simply don't have room for or don't want or got decided to buy a hard copy of, whatever the case may be, um, I'm just going to 
on the 18th of every month. I'm just going to add it in there. Whoever comes over, first come, first serve. Um, if you have a book to trade, bonus, but not required. Um, I'm sorry, I can only do U.S. right now. My funds are really, really limited, so, you know, a package that only costs anywhere between a dollar and three dollars, I can do, but anything that's going to cost more than that, um, we have to work something out because I'm just flat broke. But I just, I don't, I feel bad having these all these books sitting here when I know there's people out there that want to read them. So every 18th of the month, that page will be updated. There will be a list of whatever books I have to get rid of. Sometimes there'll only be one or two, and sometimes there'll be like 20, depending on what I get, how much strength they have to go through everything, or, you know, because sometimes laziness falls into play, and I just don't feel like cleaning out my shelves, too. So, that's that. Um, I, I think I have, I'm sorry, I'm rushing a little bit because I do have to pick up my kids from the bus stop in exactly, like, eight minutes. So, I believe that's, that's all for now. So, um, yeah, take a peek down below. I missed, like, two or three reviews. My review for Pushing the Limits, I don't know what happened to it. Every time I try to click on it, it would say error or not found or whatever the case may be. So I reposted a new one and then updated all my other places where I had posted it before. I like this review better than the <laughs> first draft that I wrote anyway. So, um, yeah, some comment and love will be much appreciated. And that's it for now. I'll probably be back later. Um, I cleaned out my shelves a little bit, trying to reorganize my shelves. Um, I have some books that were must-reads, that are still must-reads, that I want to want to read, but I just haven't had time to read them, but I want to give them, like, a shout-out. So I'm going to be probably doing, like, a, some sort of cobweb, what's on your show, I don't know. Ever, uh, another video will be popping up within the next 24 hours or so. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good week, and happy reading.